Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dan, aka Tad Zero. Today, I'm going to be doing my long awaited tier list for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Um, first off, I want to say I don't have too much time on this game, not nearly as much as I had on Vanilla. But um, I think I have enough now to have a somewhat of uh, accurate, to the, at this time in the competitive scene, the tier list. So we'll start from worst to best. Um, no F, no Fs this time. But uh, we're going to start in D minus. We'll get right into it. D minus, we have two people. Thor, still garbage. Not a lot of tools. His buffs weren't really that good. No one's been able to actually successfully use him well yet. Um, so he's D minus. Not a lot of good assists. He's not a, he's not a good character. The other one is Modok. I have been bodied by a Modoc, but it was more of the team composition than Modoc himself. So uh, he's still, no one's figured him out yet, really. So I think he's still a uh, low, low, low tier. Next, we're going to have D tier, which uh, is also has two people. We got Hagger. Hagger's good, does a lot of damage. He doesn't have a ton of tools, I don't think. Um, and his assist got nerfed which was his biggest, uh, the best thing that made him good, so that's why he's in D. The other one is Senko. Um, she's kind of like Modok, no one's figured her out yet, really. Um, she still has that little trick with the invincibility in her assist, but she's not a good character, not that good of a character. Alright, now we have C-, also has two people. We got Felicia. She's got a lot of tools, she has a nice level 3. Um, but again, she doesn't have really good assists, she's not a really good character on point, um, she's fun to use, but she's not a competitively that good of a character in my opinion. Uh, also in the C-, minus, we have Beautiful Joe. Again, the only good thing about him is he's hard to hit, and a lot of combos don't work on him, but, uh, Again, a lot of people haven't really been able to utilize him and uh, really open him up as a good character. So he's not really big on the competitive scene. Um, C minus, uh, I'm sorry, C is uh, two people also. Chun Li. I think they made her a little better, but I still don't think she's viable as a serious threat. Um, Arthur, a couple of buffs, got a pretty good buff. So it took him out of low tier. I'm kind of. I hope somebody someday makes him. A really good character and kind of opens people's eyes because I think he's got potential, but again, he's kind of weird. All right, now we got <clears throat> now we're gonna get into the bulk of it. There's one thing I love about Marvel is I think any character has got the potential to be good in this game. All right, C plus. We have Tron. Tron used to be a lot better in vanilla because her get to fire assist was so good, but they nerfed that. So otherwise, she doesn't have a ton of options, but she's still really good. Um, she's more of a point character now, though, than an assist character. Uh, Trish. Trish is a high C+, plus, but she's never going to be, like, god tier. Her peekaboo assist is always really good. It keeps people on their toes, you know, making good decisions. Um, and she's alright on point. Um, she's a good character. Spider-Man's a lot better now. He's in C+, plus, and that's because, um, he now can have, like, up to six actions per jump. So he can really play some mind games. Um, I'm kind of excited to see if any Spider-Man players come out of the woodwork. Uh, Storm. Storm is on C+, also. Uh, she's just as good as the last one. I think they gave her a couple buffs, but... Again, she's, she's good. She's just not great. Rocket Raccoon. Um, I think he has the viability to be decent. But he's got such low life. Um, I'm kind of interested to see how high-level high players... Play him at uh, play play him. Uh, I know that Marlon Pie has been messing around with him, but I haven't seen him yet use him. Um, then we got Ghost Rider. Uh, I think a lot of people are gonna hate on me on this, but I'll tell you one thing. I have a ton of experience so far is is playing Ghost Riders, <coughs> and uh, I don't think he's very good. Um, he's got no horizontal options from the ground. The only horizontal option he has is a jumping S, and even then it goes on a downward. So if you have a good mix up with like a high jump or, or a teleport, you really can shut Ghost Rider down. <clears throat> I don't think Ghost Rider is very good at all, but I put him in C+, so I don't get too much hate. Uh, last one in C+, is C Viper. 
Um, I think she's really good. She's very difficult to use. You have to have a really high level of execution. Marlon Pye uses her, and also Banana Ken, I think, are the two big name players that use her. But um, not enough to make her a mainstream awesome. <clears throat> but she's good. Now we have the B minus tier. First we had Nemesis. I think Nemesis is really good. Uh, I think he's the Hulk plus two. Like it's a little bit better than the Hulk, and he's similar to the Hulk. Um, yeah, he's pretty good on point. Um, and there's some high level players messing around with them, like Flo. Um, next one for B minus is Firebrand. I personally really like Firebrand. Online doesn't like Firebrand though, um, because of execution and timing and stuff. But uh, I think he's really good. Uh, he's got a lot of options. I wish his projectiles were a little faster, uh, but he's got a lot of air movement mobility options, which make him really good for mix-ups. Uh, Ace Attorney is a B minus, and they just nerfed him with this last patch. Um, I think he kind of needed it. He could have been a good character, but there's too much behind Ace Attorney. You have to build a team around Ace Attorney, and uh, don't don't get me wrong. I've I've gotten a full life bar taken away with a, a X Factor level three, but. Um, <clears throat> he's uh, he's good. He's just not great. Next we have Hulk. Hulk's a little bit better than the last one. Uh, he's still not awesome, but he's got more tools now, so he, he can be feared. Next one's kind of generous. I put Iron Man in B minus just because of his buffs are made him a little bit better, but uh, he's still not great, and there's still no like no Iron Man players. Now we have B. B is the biggest tier. I'm gonna go fast though, so I don't run out of tape. Strider. Strider's really good. He's got a lot of offensive options. He's got shit for damage and he has no life. So if you get caught, you're dead. And you really have to make really smart decisions and play the hell out of him. Um, Chris is now in B because he can now cancel um, some of his special moves into other special moves, uh, which he couldn't do before, uh, which make him have a lot more options, a lot more combos. So uh, he's, he's a lot better. And he was always, I always thought he was a pretty solid character. We got Morgan. I think Morgan's actually pretty good. I, I had her lower on my tier, my last tier. But um, Chris G from East Coast has been playing her. And he's pretty freaking good. Uh, he plays her on point too. So uh, she's got a lot of options, especially with Shadow Morgan. It, you have infinites and it's pretty cool. Spencer is B. He should be higher. He's an amazing character, I believe, in this game. Um, if you want to see how good he is, watch Combo Fiend. Uh, look up Combo Fiend. He's a West Coast player out of California who uh, is unbelievably good with Spencer. Um, they call it they they have they, they call it the Spencer Factor because he's literally won OCV'd one character victory with Spencer. Like at the end of many games, he's just known for being so good with Spencer. But I have Akuma. Akuma's still really good and really solid. They nerfed his Tatsu assist. Uh, it's now affected by hit stun, and you can jump out of it. No, you can't jump out of it, but sometimes you can flip flip out of it if you hear hit stuns deteriorated enough. But it's still really good, and he's still really good. So he's still a solid B. He used to be higher, but X twenty three of their buffs. I think she's got a lot of potential now. Um, but a lot of people haven't been utilizing her, but I'd say look out for her. She could be pretty good. Uh, Deadpool is next, and he he got a couple of buffs which make him a little bit better. His teleport's a little bit better. Uh, there's more hit stun on his ninja gifts, so he, he can be pretty pretty good. The next one is probably a little lower than he should be, but we'll, we'll put him here for now and he'll probably move up. Captain America. Captain America now has a double jump. He also has an OTG with his light shield slash. Um, and he, I think he got a lot better. A lot, lot better. Um, we'll just leave it at that. Nova. Nova's really good. He's got really good assists. It's overhead and he starts off in the air, so he's like out of the way of damage. So he's got a really good assist, and on point he's pretty good, and he's got some really damaging combos, so Nova's a solid B. Then we have Amy. Amy Amy's one of those characters, she has every tool in the game, but she's got no life. But either way, she's really, really good. Uh, only problem is a lot of people use her, so um, she's a lot of people know how to play her, but now she has a lot of buffs. She can now change weapons in the air, which is huge. Um, what else can she do? Oh, now you can X-Factor in the air, so you can X-Factor out of Okami Shuffle. Um, so she has a lot more options now, so she's actually better in my opinion, but uh, a lot of people know how to play her. Now B+. We got Frank West. Um, the hitboxes on his moves are insane. He has a lot of priority. Um, he's got a lot of really damaging combos. 
Uh, he's got a good assist. Um, he's pretty solid. Um, I don't think he's the best new character, but he's, he's up there. And then B plus we have Sentinel. Um, Sentinel's always been really good. Um, he's a B plus now because he he didn't get any buffs. He actually got nerfed a little bit. But um, one of the main reasons he's in B plus is there's an infinite that was found with Firebrand. Um, and he's one of the only characters that can get out of it. Uh, on top of the fact that he's really good anyway. Well, the, the invincible hyperdrive in the air is a really good tool. Then we have Taskmaster. Taskmaster's always been really good. The only problem with playing Taskmaster Master is a lot of people know how to play against Taskmaster Master because there's a lot of, uh, of high-level Taskmaster players. All right, now we have A-. minus. We got Virgil, who's... He's got potential to be S class eventually. I think he's really he's probably one of the best new characters. Uh, he's the second best new character, uh, but he's amazing, and I think we're gonna see a lot of technology come out with him soon. Um, the other one is Doctor Strange. Uh, Doctor Strange is really good. He's got a lot of tools, um, and uh, he's got a lot of mix ups. And again, I think we're gonna be seeing a lot of technology coming out with him um, soon. But he's really good, and he has one of the best hyper combos in the game. Now we have A tier. A tier we got Ryu. No one was probably expecting that. Ryu was good in vanilla, and now Ryu's better in this one. And he has a whole new like move set. When you go into the the hyper mode, down down two attack buttons, every special move changes. The so he's like a new character plus some. And then we got Dante. Dante's always been really good. Never been S tier though, but he's definitely really good. Um I think Wolverine is still A tier, and I'm going to come out and say it right now. Uh, they took the invincibility off Berserker Slash, and they slowed him down. They gave him freaking Swiss cheese, but which is kind of garbage. The only use I found for Swiss cheese so far is um, if you have a level one X factor and you do the sliding medium the X factor. Normally, you have to do light medium, light medium hard, and then pop up in order to combo, and it's, it's real tight timing. But now you just do a fierce Swiss cheese and then a pop up, and the timing's not as tough. So that's the only thing I've seen so far that's good about that move, but um, yeah, Wolverine's still definitely an A in my book. We got A+, plus. A+, plus, we have Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom, anybody knows, is wicked legit in this one. His Air S is like unstoppable. He's got that clockwork loop that everybody sees in the corner, which is just a medium, medium, um, uh, the, the dive kick, then S, then land, pop up, OTG, medium, medium, dash, land loop, but uh, that builds like three meters. Um, well, you know who I didn't have in B? I have to go back. Phoenix. I'm sorry, I missed it. Phoenix is B now. Reason why she's B? A couple of reasons real quick. I don't want to spend too much time on it. The biggest reason that Phoenix isn't as good anymore is they changed the way that your hypermeter fills. So you no longer can just have a point character that has a lot of life have them take damage and earn 5 meters and then come out with a level 3 Dark Phoenix and crush people. Um, that's the main thing why she's not so good anymore. Second main thing is that she can only do one special in the air now, which totally destroys her keep away. Third thing is half of the new cast are amazing against Phoenix. Like Doctor Strange shuts Phoenix down. Strider, if he hits Ouroboros at level, when there's a level 3 Dark Phoenix, she's going to get hit and most likely she's going to die. Even Strider can kill Phoenix in one combo. Um, as well as, who else we got? Hawkeye destroys Phoenix. Um, and so on. I mean, she she has a lot of counter picks now, so she's a B. I'm sorry, now let's go all the way back to A+. Uh, Hawkeye, I think, is the best new character. A lot of top level players are freaking amazing with him. You got Combo Fiend, who probably has the best Hawkeye. Um, uh, there's a, bu a bunch of people are using Hawkeye. Um, dude, and I also missed Iron Fist. I don't know how I missed this. Iron Fist is a, is a B-. Uh, even though Justin Wong won a tournament with him, uh, he's really hard to get in, and his, his, um, his pop-up only works if they're grounded. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry guys, I missed a couple. I, mi I missed uh, him, but at least I'm catching it before the end of the video. Um, all right, so now the S class. And the last character, I believe, is the best character in the game. Wesker is the first in the S class. Wesker 